on own. So one of my readers that follows me and I appreciate, I always appreciate questions. And if I don't get to them, it's either because sometimes YouTube, I can't get in there, uh, get to the mail part, but I make it a point of trying to answer if someone has a request video and, and now I want to address it. So I'm going to address it because one of the writer, one of the readers just asked me about, uh, I, a couple of years ago, I did a video about Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine owning the rights to Marvin Gaye's movie rights. And so one uh, person, uh, and I like the question. I love these kind of questions because I love to give you my take on why and what. Question was, how come the Hughes brother who recently approved, appeared on Vlad TV uh, said that they're going to push Snoop Dogg's movie and put Marvin Gaye's to the back burner? So my answer to that is pretty simple. Snoop Dogg is middle America. You know, somebody said he's like the Black Lee Iacocca. I don't quite go there, but it may be even bigger because he's become the, the favorite uncle, the young uncle, the hip happening. And they got Snoop and everything. And why? The, how does that? So, yes, how does that uh, push Marvin Gaye out the way? Well, even though Marvin Gaye's 40th anniversary is next year on his death and the 40th comeback of uh, the Midnight Love album and Sexual Healing, etc., there isn't that big surge for Marvin Gaye, and I think they missed the boat. You know, Jesse Martin, who was on Law & Order back in the day, was supposed to be in the role, and there were other people that were rumored to be in the role, like Denzel Washington once and some others. And, you know, time keeps going by. Uh, his ex-wife, Jan Gaye, passed. There's a lot going on. you got to wonder if the family's going to agree to what's going to be allowed. you got to wonder... Uh, they're waiting for Barry Gordy to check out. Let's keep it 100 because Barry Gordy may be holding up a lot of it because of the rights with Motown and the songs and a lot of politics. So you just don't know. But I think that's pretty much it comes down to Barry Gordy and what they're going to allow and whatnot. And do they ever let the truth come out that Marvin Gaye fought with Motown and fought, you know, to get his material? Because that plays a big, chunky part. Let's remember, he did not retire on Motown Records when his career was taken from him, when he was, you know, he left. And all that money and all that politics involved, so much going on. So his film should have been out a long time ago. They got a stamp for the man crying out loud. In in my eyes, in my world, in my ears, Marvin Gaye's right here. Snoop Dogg is about right here. I mean, he's big. But he don't mean what Marvin Gaye did. Come on now. If you're going to put a movie out on somebody, especially from the black iconic perspective, Marvin Gaye tenfold before Snoop. And I do like Snoop, you know, because I watch uh, I watch one of his uh, pimp films, the one where um, he had read from the Fire Heartbeats. That's on YouTube. And I watch it sometime when Snoop was playing the pimp. So I need a good Saturday Night Live. I watched that a couple of weeks ago for a good laugh and stuff. But Come on. But see, Snoop is more marketable. Snoop then became one of the most product pitchmen friendly. He's doing Taco Bell commercials now with the Munchie Brownie and, you know, everything he done done. He's everywhere. So, you know, the Snoop love affair has only increased, you know, and whoever market him, I tell you, you got to give him credit because he learned how to market one on one. But having said that, he should not have no film up before no Marvin Gaye. That's an insult. That is a bad joke. And that just shows you how, uh, on a real black icon, how it's devalued. Because believe me, uh, I wouldn't have him like that in white world. Mm-mm. It wouldn't have him like that in white world. You know, they got Elton John's film out way before they got an Eminem movie. You know, Eminem did do 8 Mile. Believe me, if it was something like that, Believe me, they're going to make sure that the white pop star gets the main one for a rapper, but that's the saying. So please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch over and share if you want. And I think one of the big holders of Marvin Gaye thing centers around Barry Gordy and the Motown, the power of the spin. Because I think that's the only thing that's really keeping it from not have coming out because they want to whitewash it. Because you know how Barry Gordy gets down. Don't want to be called a gangster or a thug, allegedly. Don't want to acknowledge the hard ha- the handles that he put down on people, including Marvin Gaye, who was his former brother-in-law. So there's a lot more work there. All right, I'm out. Peace.